Hey guys, welcome to Rogue World again, and this is a quick tidbit video, a short one, uh, which many of uh, you know the channel subscribers as well as others have emailed me as a request. Uh, as you guys know that Kali Linux 2020.1 uh, a B any uh, any version now doesn't comes with a default root access. It means that if we have a root account. Uh, that will be disabled and you will have to create a super user account so as you can see on the screen uh, uh, in my machine as well I have a super user account I mean uh, a non-privileged account it's not an SU account uh, it's a non-privileged account uh, which is not root, root account so uh, many of you have asked how do you enable this root account because every time you have to run something you have to go with sudo or you have to do several other tasks so I'm going to quickly show you how to do that so just log into your uh, Kali uh, uh, box open the terminal so currently as you can see uh, there is a dollar symbol it means that I am uh, not a root account this is a uh, non uh, uh, you know root account so this is an you know not uh, that privileged account as such so uh, how do I switch to a root account uh, on my box is type sudo su hit enter and you have to enter the password for the current uh, account with I have to enter my password now for the current account so once that is done as you can see this dollar symbol changes to hash means we have uh, a root privilege for this particular account now so by now what we need to do is you have to type p a s s w d and type root hit enter so this is unlocking your root account so now i'm going to type the password for root So password successfully updated. So now that the password is successfully updated, we need to check. So to check, uh, the best thing to do is log off or uh, you know lock screen, and you can switch user. So you have a switch user account. So most of you will have the switch user account. If you don't find the switch user account, simple ways to reboot the machine. Come back while it reboots. Uh, at that point in time while entering username you can manually enter root and the password whichever you have set so ensure that you don't forget the password for the root account so this is switch now I have root user and the root so for uh, normally working on the KDE based desktop you will not have all these options now that I have upgraded from uh, made desktop to XFCE session or uh, the KD version so I have this dual boot option so I'll select the root here and enter the password and then once that is done you will be now logging in with root account so we are logged in and uh, let's quickly open the terminal so when you open the terminal you will actually find a difference if you are uh, a root or a normal user so you can you can see here that uh, by default by default you'll have root rogue vault so the machine name is the rogue vault root is a username and uh, you don't have to you know type sudo anymore because you are already in the root account so that will be all for this video the quick tidbit video uh, if you have any questions or if you have any other problems you can just email me or you can leave a comment uh, of your choice and i'll try and make a video and solution out of it if suppose multiple people are asking the same problem facing the same problem then obviously i'll make a video like just like this so that it will be uh, useful and you will be useful for you to you know guide yourself or you know maneuver your way in getting your solution done so uh, that will be all for this video uh, thanks for watching uh, stay tuned subscribe and keep learning